Hello Techies. In the previous tutorials, we have learned how to work with retrieve emails and also we have seen how to work with process emails. In this tutorial, we will learn how to send emails for the retrieved emails. Let me show you a small use case over here to make you understand. In our real time scenario, the incident team or the support team sends an email to the mail re reporting that we have raised an incident. Right. So in that case, what we will get it, the subject contains in a such a way incident or support like that we will have in the subject and then we will receive the mail for the particular recipient. And after that, we need to respond to the support team saying that hi team, we are working on the particular incident and then we will look into that and we will respond. We will resolve this issue as soon as possible. That is like that we are going to send the mail to the support team. All right, this is my simple use case over here. If you observe over here, I need to send a mail to the particular team regarding that. All right, how I can go ahead and do that. Let's switch back to Power Automate desktop. If you see, we are going to use send emails. What is the purpose of this send email email action? By using this send email action, we can create and send a new mail to the particular person. So now I will show you this one over here, real time example over here. If you see in the retrieve emails, what we are going to do, we are going to connecting to the IMAP server and then we are going to receive all the mails, right? So in the filters, what we are going to do, we are going to give the subject over here, right? Let me delete this, the previous example over here. First of all, we need to retrieve the mails which are not read. I'm going to use 100 emails only, all right? Now, I got a new mail into my mailbox with the subject over here. What is the subject? I will say incident. The subject contains incident. Once I have retrieved that mail and I have to make it as red. Why I have to make it as red? Because of again, when, I, when my flow is running, all the mails will be there in my inbox mark as unread. Right. So it is very difficult to understand, you know, I have already sent the mail or not to the particular two person or the person who has sent to me related to the incident. Right. So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark as red over here so that once I have read the mail, I will mark it as red immediately on the basis of that. I will send the mails to the particular person. All right. Now, if you observe, I'm having retrieve unread emails messages only and the subject contains incident. These are the two filters which I have used. I'm using imap.gmail.com and the port is 993. All right. Now let's click on save. Now to send the mails, what is the server I'm going to use it? I'm going to use SMTP server. I will let you know that one. Before that, to read each and every mail, what, are, what is the loop action that we are going to use it? For each loop action. Let me drag and drop this for each loop action onto the workspace. Why we are going to use this for loop? Because of in the retrieve emails, I'm having one mail or more than one mail, so I may have it, all right? If you see values, value to reiterate, I'm having retrieved emails, I'm going to select that. And then variables produce, I'm going to in, in for each loop, I'm having current item, all right? Let me click on save. Now in the current item, for every loop, I'm having the data will be stored in the current item. The current item containing to, from, and all the email related information that I have. Now, I want to send it back to the mail saying some context, right? Now, what is the thing that I'm going to use it? Send email, email action, I'm going to use it. Let me drag and drop this send email onto the for each loop. Now, if you see the parameters over here, from. So when I'm going to send a mail, from which mail ID that I need to send? I'm just giving the details as learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com. And then sender display name. I'm just going to give display name as learning technologies over here. And after that, to whom I need to send this mail. So the person who has sent me, uh, who has from which person that I have received mail, I have to send to the same person, right? That is from which person that have retrieved the mails in the current item, if you see over here from, I need to send to the same person. All right, now CC. 
So what we are going to do in the real time scenario, we are having group of mails so that it will send to the all the people who are there in the particular group. In that case, we are going to use CC, BCC. All right. Now the subject. So what is the subject that we will use it? We will resend the right. We will reply to the particular subject which we have sent it. Right. Now in the current item, I'm having the subject over here. If you see, I'm going to select it. Before that, I'm going to add it as re. That is nothing but simply I'm going to reply it. All right. In the body, I have to give some body over here. If you see in my body, I'm sending in a such way. Hi, sender. We are looking into the incident. Thank you. So it is like that. We know we are sending auto reply kind of mail. We are going to be sending it. So what is the incident that we have? I will make it over here as the current item itself. The current item dot subject. I will make it over here. Okay, in simple way in the subject, I will make it over here. I'm saying hi sender. We are looking into the incident. So and so subject. Thank you. This is my body parameter and then you can see body is HTML. If your body having any HTML content, then you will make it enable. And after that, if you're having any attachments, you can attach it from your particular desktop. All right. Now, if you're sending the mail, there are a few more things is required. The configuration related. What are they? While you are sending an emails, we need to work with the SMTP server. Let's click on that. Over here, you can see the configuration over here where we can get this configuration. Let's go back to email over here. You can see the settings once again. Click on all settings. Forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Over here, you can see configuration instruction. Click on that. Once you, you click on that, there you can find the SMTP server outgoing mail. When you are incoming mails, you are using IMAP. When it outgoing mails, you are going to use SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol. All right. You can see over here, the server name is smtp.gmail.com and the required SSL. Yes. And you can see the port number 456. These are the three things which we required. All right. Now I'm going to provide the same details over here. SMTP server, smtp.gmail.com. Port is 456 and enable SSL certificate. I'm going to make it as true. And you can see over here, SMTP server needs authentication. Make it as authentication true over here. What are the details you need to give over here? Your username and password, which you are going to be accessing. That is, I'm using learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com. And after that, I'm going to give respect to Gmail password over here. These are all the configuration changes which I have made it. And I'm ready to send the mail for this for the particular recipient who are going to be sending with the subject of incident. All right. Now let's click on save. Now before running the flow, let me show you my Gmail once again. Over here, if you see in my inbox, I don't have any mails related to the incident. So what I will do, I will trig, I will send a mail from my personal email ID. And then even if you see in the sent mails, I don't have any mails which I have sent to the particular person regarding the subject as the incident. All right. Now, just I have sent an email with the subject incident and you can see over here I'm having an incident with incident 8080. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution has been started and you can see it is starting retrieving over here. All right. Even successfully, it has sent a mail successfully to the particular sender by using our flow. All right. Now we will see that flow has been sent it successfully or not. Let me click on send. Over here, you can see the subject incident 8080. And after that, if you click on that one, it is saying, hi, sender, we are looking into the issue that is incident 8080. This is the subject which we have sent. And then simply it is saying, thank you. All right. Now, let me show you that recipient also received the mail successfully or not. Now you can see over here, I have received one mail. I'm the sender itself. I have sent a mail from basha.amir86 at the rate of Gmail to learning technologies. And after that, in the reverse format that I have received a mail from the flow itself. You can see, let's click on that. And there you can see, hi sender, we are looking into the incident, incident 8080. Now let me expand this. Over here, you can see the subject over here, re-incident 8080 and the mailed by Gmail. And you can see all the standard encryption, TLS, all these things you can see from 
learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com it's been reply all right i hope you understand how to send emails by using send email action and after that we have seen how to configure the smtp server while we are going to send the email by using power automate desktop thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day